Hey guys, welcome to another part of my dog sculpting and grooming series. In the previous videos, I have showed you how to create guides onto the entire body of my dog, and I hope you have watched those videos. And if not, then please watch them before continuing this video. So in this, we'll proceed how to clump our hairs. So clumping basically means that all your hairs will grow closely together towards the end. So as you can see, uh, how my hairs are looking onto my dog. So I am just using my uh, brush to tweak my guides before uh, using my clump modifier. And to use a, a clump modifier you have to go to the modifier tab and from there you can use clumping and to use clump you have to set up a map. So what I am trying to do that I want all my clumps where my guides are located and now you can see how a clump looks like so this is how a uh, clumping looks like all your hairs are now growing closely together towards the end So I'm just going to increase my density because I want smaller clumps. So you can see the uh, yellow lines. These are my clumps. And now you can see that my clumps are now very small. For better visibility, I have just switched on my color preview and now you can see that how my clumping is looking like. I am just going to increase my width because I believe that my hairs are uh, too wide. I want a little bit thinner hairs and also I am increasing the density so that there are more hairs covering my body. Now you can see that there are uh, some places where my hairs are not covering uh, completely my body and also there are some positions where I do not want my hairs. Like I ha I can see that there are hairs inside my eye. So again, I'm uh, just uh, increasing my density. Let's uh, have a look at how. Uh, increasing my density value will affect my hairs so you have to do a lot of experiment while using your clumps because you have to check that what value looks good on your character so it is a very experimental thing so now i'm going to create a density mask so density mask is basically a black and white mask so the position which is covered in white will be reflecting 100 percent of my hairs and the position where i'll be painting black there will be no hairs So now you can see that my brush is enabled and I just have to paint uh, black because my uh, character is completely white. Com white means that it will grow hairs on the entire body but I do not want that because there are some positions, there are some places where I do not want any hair. So I am just going to increase uh, the reflection, I am just uh, switching on my reflection because I do not want to paint on both the sides. So I have started painting black. And wherever I'm painting black, there will be no hairs. On the nose position, I do not want any hairs. I have just uh, fa fast forwarded the process so that I don't waste much of your time and mine either. Inside my mouth, I do not want any hairs, so that's why I'm painting it black. Below my paws, I do not want any hairs. So basically, where you do not want any hair, you have to paint it black. And where you want hairs, you have to uh, keep it white.
inside my eye also I do not want any hairs as you can see that there are many hairs inside my eye so I want to eliminate all the hairs so painting a density mask is uh, sometimes very easy because you just have to paint black and white Now you can see that there are no hairs where I had painted black. There are no hairs inside my mouth. On my nose there are no hairs. Again I am just decreasing my density. To have a look at how uh, it looks like on a value of 5 so there is a problem in the tail area my hairs are not covering the tail part so I am just going to tweak it so I am just uh, brushing the guides and maybe I also have to add some more guides to cover the tail part so the things which are dynamic in nature is very unpredictable like using xgen and creating hairs on the character is very unpredictable many times it happens that uh, you seem to be entering correct values your guides are also uh, correctly placed but the result what you were expecting is a little bit different so this is a very uh, basic thing in uh, dynamic objects like uh, whenever you are creating any hairs or you are doing any fx part so this thing is very unpredictable Again, I'm just going to be decreasing my density to have a look at how it is going to look like. So currently, I have placed all the clumps where my guides are located. So I'm adding few more guides to have a better result. So now I am going to add another clumping map. So this time I want some smaller clumps so that's why I have given a value of 10. And now you can see all my clumps together but I am just switching off my clumping 1 map and I want to see the result of clumping 2. So the clumping 2 is slightly smaller. So 
as you can see that my hairs are completely following my guides So this is the result of my both clumps together. So I'm just going to increase my clump scale. Because I do not want it to be too tight towards the end. I won't lose the clumps. So now I can see some better result than before. Again, I'm just brushing some of my guides. But still there is no variation uh, in my hairs. I can see that my hairs are uh, equally the same on my entire character. Because we have just used our clumping map. To give uh, variation to our hairs we have to use another uh, method which uh, maybe I will be covering in the next video. So stay tuned. because this video is all about clumping so I do not want to introduce any other modifier So this is how my hairs are looking currently. And for a better visibility, again I have switched on my color preview so, so that you can see the exact position of my clumps. I have used two clumping maps so you can see that there are some smaller clumps some are little bit different from my smaller clumps so again I'm changing my density to 20 to have a look at how uh, my hairs are looking like I think that is pretty much for this video. If you learned something out of this video then please subscribe to my channel and also please like and share my content and I'll see you in another part. Thank you for watching.